it's nice to get the endorsement, um, but we have always been known as the most secure platform, uh, and we provided, for example, to, um, to G16 or out of the G20 countries, governments uh, for mobile infrastructures, secure mobile infrastructure, uh, infrastructure privacy. Um, you know, it ranges from our phones to all the software that we build to build software that we put into the automobile. automobile. So, so we have always been doing it, and it's always nice to get the recognition. I don't know whether it's a game changer or not. Only the exception is I'm hearing all the news earlier. Um, I think that the, the market and the world is now turning to privacy and security as a top priority, and which you know we've been waiting for for a long time. John, who's right? The U.S. government, which has put this ban in place and is worried about national security risks regarding Huawei as the rollout of 5G uh, looms, looms upon us, or Google, which just today is worrying and telling the government that it's worrying that that ban could actually cause more national security risk? Well, um, I, I just heard the Google News this morning also, um, their assertion, so I, I really don't have enough time to understand the logic behind it. It is sounds uh, like like the earlier uh, report says. It sound, is, is this sound a little counterintuitive? Because if we don't use the Huawei phone in various situations, and the United States government already banned using the Huawei phone, it's hard to see how the national security is being compromised. But there might be a deeper uh, argument behind it. Um, I believe this whole Huawei situation could be resolved by more of a technology transparency on both sides. Um, I remember a long, long time ago, the Chinese government has a lot of, a lot of issue with Microsoft um, Windows operating system. I think Bill Gates and team had gone to um, China and was able to review the code with the Chinese officials or their scientists, and they were able to address that issue. And, and, and Microsoft today is doing reasonably well in China. So I think th the same methodology could work here. Uh, Huawei be able to, ex you know, um, let the United States government trusted parties to look through the code and escrow it, and so forth. It, it might, it might all, all work. So I am hopeful that we will resolve it. But you got to resolve it through, you know, working together and not resolve it by by calling each other names or whatever it might be. John, does uh, this focus on security that is, is taking place in the marketplace now, that being more aware of privacy issues, does that lead to a, a renaissance for you in certain parts of your business lines? Uh, we, we are all in on that. Um, I, I know we just bought a cybersecurity company doing AR, using artificial intelligence, machine learning, to, to even take the security protection one level up. So yes, we, our strategy is to, is to be able to capture this wave um, and which we've always been doing well in. So, you know, renaissance, I don't know whether that's the right word, but, but we, we are, we're looking for a pretty strong, healthy business plan. John Chen, thanks for joining us. Thank you.